Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful shawl. It's so easy to make and uh, I only use one ball of Angora yarn. It was on this yarn, 100 grams is 530 meters. So it's also <laughs> economical. Um, I'm not sure if you could find this yarn, but you can use any yarn you choose with the recommended uh, hook. I use 3.5 millimeter hook. If you are using a category one yarn like me, you can uh, use 3.5 millimeter too. And uh, I hope you like this tutorial. If you are ready, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's start. Now for this video, I'm going to use a different yarn with a bigger hook, 4 millimeter hook, because it will be easy to see. Um, and don't forget, I use 3.5 for this one. Start with a slip knot. Make uh, seven chains. Insert from this first chain. Join with a slip stitch. Then chain one, two, three. Into this ring, make a double crochet. Count this one as a double crochet too. Chain two. Make two double crochets. One, two chain two, two double crochets, chain two, two more double crochets. I have one, two, three, four, two double crochets separated by two chains. Uh, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Make these chains loosey as you can. Or um, you don't want to make here uh, tight. It could look bad. That's the top part. Into this first space here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. Then chain two, make three more double crochets. One, two, three. And that's our first shell. We will work with shells and V stitches. One row we will make shells, one row we will make V stitches. Between two shells, we will make three chains one, two, three. Into this next space, make three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three, chain three, into the next space, 
make one, two, three double crochets, two chains, three more double crochets. And in the end, if you remember, we started with five chains. Now we will make two chains and you can insert into this chain, third chain, or you can insert here, make a double crochet. Now for the row three, we will start with five chains again. Turn and into this first space, we will make a double crochet. Chain two and into the same place, make one more double crochet. And that's our first V. Chain three into this two chain space, we will make a single crochet. chain three into this three chain space we will make a, a V stitch make a double chain two double we will always make V stitch into these three chains and into the corner here So don't get confused. We made a single crochet here. When you uh, keep going, you will see we will always make V's into these three chain spaces and single crochets into these two chain spaces, except the corner. Chain three, make a double crochet, two chains, a double crochet, chain three, there is a three chain space, make a V here, chain two, chain three, we have a two chain space here. Make a single crochet, chain three, and into this space, make a V, and if you remember, we started with five chains and then make a V here, so we are going to make two chains and a double crochet here. Chain five, turn. That's our first we don't count here. That's our first we. We are gonna make a shell. One, two, three. Chain two, three more double crochets. Chain three, this row is easy. Just put a shell into the V stitch you see. And between them, there will be three chains. One, two, three. Chain two. Chain three. Last corner. Chain three. Make one more. Chain three and skip here, skip all of them, and into this last V stitch, make the last shell. 
chain two. In the end, make two chains and make a double crochet. Chain one, two, three, four, five. And starting from here, we will repeat same things. Make a double into the first space, two chains and one more double. Chain three, put a single crochet into this two chain space. Chain three, put a V stitch. You can insert into the middle chain or make them around the chains. Chain three, a single crochet. Chain three, a V. Chain three, this time we are at the corner. Put a V stitch here. Chain three, a V stitch again. Chain three, single crochet. Chain three, V stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, a V stitch. And don't forget to put one more double crochet here. First make two chains and one more double crochet. And that's all. Chain five, turn and put shells into each V you see. Between them make three chains. For the next row, you're gonna start with five chains again. And then like we did here, make a V stitch, chain three, put a single crochet, chain three, Repeat these two rows as long as you want and now I'm gonna show you how to finish it. I made the shawl longer. It's a 60, 67 centimeters long. Now I will close it. Chain one. As you can see, I finished with the V row. I have V's. Insert into this first space and make three single crochets. One, two, three. Into this next space, into this V stitch, I'm gonna make two single crochets, two chains. Insert your hook inside this loop here and use this single crochet's uh, left post grab the yarn I will not make a slip stitch this time I'm gonna make a single crochet then make two more single crochets one two into this next two spaces here, we will make three single crochets. One, two, three. Skip the single crochet. One, two, three. And into this V stitch, two single crochets, two chains, Make a pico. Two more single crochets into the same place. And that's all. We are going to repeat this. 
make three single crochets one two three make three single crochets again make two single crochets a picot and two more single crochets then three single crochets three single crochets repeat this for the and for here this corner you're gonna repeat the same thing just put three single crochets here two single crochet picot two single crochets three single crochets and two single crochets picot two single crochets repeat the same things for V's and for these three chains always put three single crochets I'm at the end now I made the last V then I'm gonna put one two three single crochets here cut the yarn and hide it And that's all. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram address and it's also my Pinterest website, Rivalry and Etsy address. Uh, you can find me anywhere you want. That's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day. Bye.